So it is white to move. And looks like I got another 2300 player over here. Awesome. And we'll start off with c4. And the idea, again, we're just going to try to control this. Let's go bishop d3. Attacking the knight. And let's go h3, stopping bishop g4 ideas. Castles. Looks like they're preparing d5. And we're going to go c5 here. I like this idea. They can play b6 and break the center. But, um, yeah, I like this little bind that, that can happen here. Remember, when you're trying to play for those wins, you need to create some kind of imbalance here. Bishop f4. Rook e1. Knight g6 is typically their plan here. And bishop h2. Sometimes they get a very nice bind on h5. b4. A4, B5 idea. It looks like they want to sacrifice here, which I'm more than happy for them to do that. Bishop takes H3. Ah, looks like they just want to trade. I am not up for that. Let's go Bishop F1. I assume... Okay. And let's go... Bishop back to H2. Queen to D2. Knight E5 is coming in the future. Knight G6 will get played at some point. And I'm trying my best not to make the trade if possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, perfect. I got the perfect timing there for knight to e5. I don't like this as much because of this. b5 here. Pawn takes. Perfect timing here. Rook takes. And probably knight to g6 now. And maybe I just go b6 and rook to a7. I think that's what I want to do. Okay. Pawn takes looks pretty good to put pressure. I think actually this is what we're going to do. We're going to go pawn takes, rook a6, and the c6 pawn looks pretty fatal to me here. Bishop does a good job by defending. Ideas to stop them from playing the knight to e4. That's what I'd like to do. That's what I'd like to stop them from playing. Knight to d7 now. So not really a threat just yet. Um, hmm. Knight d3 I could play, but maybe queen a4, queen a6. Uh, Queen, queen to a4 is the idea. Bishop takes here. I assume the... the oh, they can't go bishop f6 here. That's, that actually worked out pretty nicely for me. I mean, they can, but they'd have to mess up their pawn structure. Mm -hmm. uh, just defend the pawn let's just defend and maybe knight a4 or b6 it's either that or knight e2 here which i like both okay
So here they're preparing to play d4. Let's go knight a4, b6. Just so I can get some kind of activity here. Bishop d3. It's a little scary. Let's go knight b6 first. But I do have to be worried about this uh, this past pawn that's running down the board here. Rook a7. Knight d7 looks interesting. Queen e3 check is definitely a move that they can play. Although I think the pawn here does get a bit weak. move here. Knight b6. Ah, I thought I'm losing my pawn here, huh? Mm. Yeah, it's probably just the best bet for me. Not a very good move, but a move you just gotta play. Bishop c4. Threatening rook takes on f7. And then, actually, you know, I think I'm supposed to play rook a5 here. So let's go rook a5. And rook takes. Idea is now knight takes. King f2, d3, king e1. Just losing here. Oof, this is losing position now. Rook to d2. Um, hmm. King over. Dear Lord, this knight's pretty much trapped. This is just gonna be a lost position now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, that's the only way I could kind of try to make this work. Okay, cool. King over here. Um, Rook e2 is now just winning. So I guess knight c4 is my only good try. King takes, eh, this might be, yeah, yeah, this might be, this might be just bad for me. Let's see here. <laughs> okay. Mm. So I'd like to play there. Okay, I don't know what to do here. Oof, this is tough. Knight b2, I guess. Rook d5 check. King c4. Let's see here. Check again. King takes. Mm. I think the only way I could try to get away with this is going to be time. have to go back here because rook to d4. Uh, check which he might play here. I think it's his best practical choice or you know what yeah king d6 knight c4 check looks annoying again hmm. Check here knight e3 knight f1 E3 rook d4 check or rook e5 is stronger Okay Let's go f4 Ooh, blunder. Rook d4 check and takes. Ah! Oh, uh, no. Knight g4. The only thing I'm really going for is time at this point. <laughs> Knight takes d3 is an idea. If I can at least get one win of the pawn, that would be nice. King takes, I think, is just good enough here. They can check here, but uh, should not be enough. Should not be enough. Let's see here. Rook here. 94. Check. Check. Just trying to flag him here. Rook takes. King there. King there. Knight d6. Check. Yeah, yeah, this. 
not how I wanted to win the game, but uh, yeah, that's just how it happened. That's just how it happened. Ugh, the Russian game is a uh, very, very sturdy defense here. I wonder, uh, I need to figure out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, definitely not the best on, 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 on my account, but I am excited. To <laughs> Hopefully I'll, I'll be able to, uh, to, to play this a little bit better. Uh, like, I, I usually actually play two other lines in this one. I think this is like the Steinitz. Oh no, I think this is like the Steinitz part of the Russian game or the the Petrov defense. Again, this is a theme tournament, so I'm not really playing one that I'm totally comfortable with. But if you're trying to become a better chess player, right, you should always play these ones. It's, and I especially do not know this from the black side. So here we go. D5. Um, bishop D6. I'm not too sure to be honest. Let's see. Bishop D6. Real quick. Seems like a good enough move. Castles. C4. C6, and I just remember the matches that were was played with, uh, what's his name, Kramnik versus Anod. We played quite a few of these ones. The F5 moves are not too good. Um, Bishop F, ah, we're just going to take it. I need to probably do some better prep next time on this one. Bishop G4, pawn takes here is, a, is of course a move. Uh, Queen B3 is interesting. Go B6 here. Okay, Knight C6. Bishop H5. Yeah, I've done pretty well here. I've done pretty well. Let's go Knight C. Uh, Knight C6. Here is good. Of course, they can't take the pawn because Bishop H2 check. Um, probably Queen B3. Bishop takes double the pawns and then we'll go to E7 to defend here. Let's see. Okay. A6 is actually another move I like. And I think we're going to go for that. Let's go A6. B5. We'll, we'll, oh, so they're going for it. Uh, okay, so bishop check. I wonder what was the idea about this. There must have been something here. Because they, 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 they probably saw it last move, right? Or else they would have not played this. Why? I was thinking they, they might have thought knight takes h2. But after queen takes, you're actually defending your bishop and still attacking the queen. Okay, so queen takes. Maybe bishop before, but we just have queen d6 here. Queen d6 check. So, looks like I'm just up the exchange for no good reason. Let's go rook c8. Idea is b5, and then attacking this pawn over here. Knight a5, knight c4. So, typical idea is to attack this backwards pawn. Let's see here. Knight a5. Oh, okay, so we can still play knight c4 here. A nice move. The threat is bishop takes and then knight takes on d2. And I can play b5 here to maintain my knight right here. This will be a very good square move. Hmm. So b5 gets played. Bishop g6. Of course, trades are just good for me. Um, we'll take H takes or G takes? Or F takes. Rook over to E8. Nice. Yeah, so we'll definitely play H takes now. If they do trade. Pawn takes back. Rook takes check is interesting. Yeah, they will take him first check. Pawn takes. And then probably Rook E8. E4 is interesting. You know what? Let's go B4. The rook will gain more power by becoming uh, active here. Knight e6 idea. Maybe running to f5. Knight e5. We need one check first and then knight to d6. Let's go knight e6. Knight f5. We need to put pressure on this pawn. Knight f5. Now we have some pressure on it. Not winning just yet here. F6. Perfect timing. Mm -hmm. Rook d8. Queen to d6. 
Yeah, it's funny how, how solid these positions can really be. Queen d5 is one of the ideas. Perfect. If they want to trade, this will only be beneficial. Oh, okay, cool. And rook over here. This makes the position a lot easier. With the queens on the board, there's lots of checks so that can make the, you know, some kind of perpetual or maybe even dropping a piece. Uh, we still have that knight to deal with, which can be very annoying, so the game's not over over but it's getting closer um that's a question do i just take here yeah let's not do that the only reason i don't want to take right away is because um you know these pawns can get a little uh a little good together so king to d5 rook check over here luckily the knight's not going into any good squares knight c4 i definitely would like to play against this bishop Yes, yeah, this is a position I, I am very confident I'm going to win now. Okay, let's go to Rook over here. Rook over check. This is, um, I'm going to be able just to squeeze him now. The light squares are weak, so here we go. King to d5. That with the combination of the top. Oh, yeah, and now this is definitely bad. We're going to be able to play Rook e4, Rook h4. Ideas. And then just cut the king off. So f5. Rook g4 check. Again, we're just slowly taking more and more space. They can't go f3 right away because the rook takes on f4 check here. And let's see. Let's go check here first. And then pawn takes here. We can just take the pawn over here on d4. g5 is a move here too, or g6. Eh, let's keep it simple. Pawn takes. Rook takes. Interesting. A little trick of the trade here. We're going to make sure that we stay on the light squares. Light squares will be our friend here. I want to go king g5 and then rook a3 check. Okay, so check here. This is good for me. King is now going to get to this. And rook here. Yeah, once I get the pawn to f3, I think I'll just be winning. I should either be able to sack the rook for the bishop, or there'll be checkmating threats. For instance, after f3 check, this is checkmate. So check. So the king has to go... Hmm. Is this one? Rook check here. And then bishop's going to go to c5 to defend, right? This is a little bit more challenging than I thought it was going to be. Rook here, rook here. Rook takes e3 is the idea now. Rook here. Maybe I'll run the king over here. I don't know. I just got to keep pushing over here, right? Now the new threats check right here. Rook, and then here's the winning idea. I'm going to go rook g2 check, and I'm going to just run the king over here. And then rook takes on f2. Rook takes, king takes. Of course, rook check here. So yeah. GG, good game. Yeah. I was I was fairly confident I could win that one. It just it, it takes a little bit more time. Okay, we're, we're gonna berserk against this guy. The point is to learn the opening, but why not try to play for first place here too? And berserking will take half my time, but it also give me double the points if needed. <laughs> Let's see here. What's this? Casablanca, huh? All right, so C4. I'm going to play for these isolated pawn positions. Looks like nobody wants to go into these, funny enough. Uh, let's go Queen C2. Let's see if they go Bishop F5. No, Bishop D3. Pawn takes. Okay, I'm already happy. I've got the Bishop pair. And this is weak, uh, this F5, because of the diagonal. And uh, allow me to demonstrate say right we're gonna put pressure on d5 here knight e5 oof i am already loving this position f3 is to kick away the knight and we're gonna be able to expand very nicely here even winning a pawn here in some variations um let's see here f3 bishop a3 is coming again all my pieces just get really active here can't just push the pawn i'll take it mm-hmm 
Let's see here. Oh, I didn't even see what place I'm in the tournament here. Okay, so they played that move. They're putting pressure on c3. f3, knight takes bishop d2. If they play queen takes, we just take, I think. If they play knight takes, bishop d2 pins it and wins it. Bishop d2 then. And then takes. I think that's just winning, right? Um, Bishop takes check. And then if they play the knight to d5, we take anyways. Because after queen takes, queen takes, this, this knight's pinned. So bishop takes. They can't take here because it is pinned. I mean, they, they can if they want to. And I hope that, I sincerely hope they do. Have to worry about 93 ideas? Ah, eh, not too bad. Rook over to e1, I'll play. Let's see. Okay, rook e1. Bishop b4 is a new threat. Knight f7 is a new threat. Oof, this is a little bit mean. Where does this rook go? It has to go to f6. Which means the back rank becomes really weak. It can't go to e8 to roast. Checking here is going to be winning. Oh, what am I thinking? They could have just taken. Dear Lord. Well, rook takes. Knight f7 check will not work here. That's my queen taking. So queen takes d4 check. King h1. Oh. Okay, they're being nice. Knight f7 check is just perfect timing here. Bishop takes. And my rook even defends on d4. The new threat is now rook e8 check. So bishop d7 is the best move. Let's go... Queen c5. Of course, if they want to trade, I'm more than happy to. That's okay. Rook b2. Rook is coming over here. Rook e2 idea. Queen h4 attacking this unprotected rook. Hey, hey, I'm the only one doing cheap shots around here, okay? Rook e2 guarding everything. And what's the move here? And we'll play bishop e6. Should probably be playing a little bit more precise, but this is good. Rook takes on e6. Ah, okay. And so if they do this, I can play queen takes or bishop takes here, huh? Bishop takes because of queen takes d4 check. I don't want to fall for that. Um, let's go bishop d3. New idea is going to be queen f5. Check meaning idea. Okay. Rook e7 looks splendid. Queen e5 check now. Queen f6. Okay, okay, game on. Game on here. Rook takes. Bishop b3 check has to be winning here. The only thing that's a little hard is that the, the queen guards the square. Oh, wait a second. This should just be winning. Rook takes. Bishop b3 check. And the queen can come back over here to win. Eesh. Be careful. Queen takes e1 would not be the way to finish this day. Actually, is Queen H8 just mate, though? Yeah, Queen H8 just mate. Yeah, there we go. All right. All right, that was... That was fun for me. Let's see here. I am not doing good. Look how behind I am, dear Lord. 32 minutes, and I'm in fourth place. I haven't lost any games, but dear Lord. I, I, I've got some very tough games. I think the first two, I played like a 2300, which I think he's over here, right? Yeah, yeah, and he was beating me too. Yeah, see, I had, I had that first win. He was beating me that game, and I, I dirty flagged him because it was the only way I could try to survive. <laughs> ah, okay, let's get our next game going. Let's go. Let's see here. Anybody look out for in this game? Okay, 1800, let's go in Berserk. <laughs> let's go D5. And let's continue with the last strategy we have. We're just going to play simple. Bishop to D6, and then Castle King side. Bishop D6, C4 is the move that most people are going to play here. 
I think I can even play pawn c5 if I want to. Eh, see, they, they, they always get that in first. c5 is the way I'd like to play. Knight takes is what I did last time, so let's just keep with this line. And bishop g4. I like this pin for the knight. Ooh, that's that's it. Yeah, you know what? I could take here. Because if bishop takes h7 check, king h8, queen h4, uh, will attack the bishop and the checkmate square. So king h8, I believe this is a mistake. Queen h4, so double attack on the bishop and on h2 for mate. See, it's, it's, it's easy to win your game, so all you have to do is calculate, you know, 5 to 10 moves ahead and you're winning each time. Don't forget, you, you can't make mistakes in calculation. Okay, okay. Queen h4. Double attack here. GM move, as I like to say. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my gosh. Are they going to just run run the clock out? I think the only move that they have to play here is f4, right? Only good, good move that they can play here. But I'll just take the bishop over here. Oh no. They're really going to make me wait this? Okay, so they play there. Queen takes. King takes. Remember, I, I'm playing by a clock, so I still want to try and win this tournament. And I kind of looked at some checks, but I didn't see anything good. Once the bishop gets cut off, it just is not working as well. King takes idea. Queen b3, maybe b6 or something. Queen g6, queen e4 check. Just not enough there to check me just yet. You know, queen b3 is actually a pretty annoying move here. Puts pressure on d5 and b7, and I think I just lose a pawn, right? What do I do after that? Oh, okay, so king takes. This will make the game a lot easier for me now. Pawn takes. I feel like I'm playing a robot, but it just makes not the best moves. Let's see. Bishop c7. Knight to d7 and b6. We'll get the rooks into the game. My king actually might wander over here to f5 just to win this uh, this pawn over here. Mm -hmm. what are the, where is this bishop going? Rook e1? Yeah, that's an okay move. Knight d7. So they can't penetrate by themselves. Rook d8. And I'll blow... My king's going to go over here. They, they need to uh, develop the pieces first. Oh, man. I think they're just listening to me playing this game. Let's see. Rook here. I think is good enough because rook takes king over, right? They take the pawn king g8 and now the rook's trapped. And so, yeah, they have to give me the exchange. Let's see. Merry Christmas. Sometimes people are just being nice, you know? Let's see. Yeah, we've never played in. He's from he's a German. He's German. Okay, rook takes. Um, rook f7. Looks like a free pawn. We'll just gather up all these guys over here. b6. There's no need to let your pawns fall, guys. Be nice to your pawns. Bishop takes on b6. Um, rook takes. Bishop takes pawn if they, if they do it. The bishop comes back in defense here. Rook e6, rook g6. I don't know if there's really any checkmating ideas here, but... Definitely getting aggressive is something I like to do. Um, rook check. Maybe they'll play bishop g5. They do have to be careful here. I think king h3 gets them checkmated. Okay, here we go. Check. King h2. Check. And then rook h3 is mate. You gotta practice those uh, tactics, guys. Eh, that ma that mate really came out of nowhere, though, huh? <laughs> All right, check, and then mate. Bam! All right, next one up. <sighs> We're in second place, but still quite a bits away, huh? Dear Lord, who's uh, who is this? Hugo Marella Rapido. Okay. Oh, and, he, and yeah, look, it looks like he's berserking every single game. And he's up a queen already? Dear Lord. Okay, let's berserk again. Why not? D5. 
we know our theory that we're at least we're attempting in this line for the uh, Petrov defense. Bishop d6. Pawn takes. I, I've been liking the positions I'm getting here for black. C4. Oh, so they didn't do that. You know what? Let's go C5 here against them. Let's we'll play the isolated pawn this time. Knight takes. Knight C. Ooh! They're playing the Greek gift. And here, unfortunately, this does not work at all because bishop to f5. This this is one of the moves you need to watch out whenever you're trying to do these Greek gifts. Obviously, the bishop just controls this now, and so that's it. GG, good game. That's just my free, uh, free piece now. Uh, bishop f5, or bishop g6, sorry. Maybe they'll play, okay, they played there. Let's go d4. They can't take because of bishop checks. And I'm looking for trades here, so knight d5. I can play bishop check there. Let's go knight c6 real quick, though. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't play a little bit conservative. Um, Knight e5. And we'll just take, try to make this as uncomplicated as possible. Bishop takes on c2 as a move. Let's go queen to d7. Queen d5. Better square for the queen. Rook f8. They still do have these threats about uh, queen h4. So we'll try and trade off this knight, and that'll take away a lot of the counterplay. Mm-hmm. Knight to e6. Oop. Can't do that just yet. Let's go rook a d8. Ah, maybe I should have played bishop takes. Okay, d3. Pass pawns are running forward. Knight to e4. Again, I want to make this trade in general. c3 is the new weakness. Queen takes g over here. Probably rook e1 will get played, and I'll bother them with this move. I'll bother them with this move anyways. Hmm. Rook over to e8. If they want to trade off uh, for the two pieces, I'm more than happy. This pawn is going to queen. Ugh. The good and bad part about that is the bishop will sacrifice. It would have been nice if I could have stopped this, but is my king safe enough? It's going to take a little while for them to do that. Mm -hmm. The idea may be rookie four. Ugh. Yeah, let's just do it. Rook takes. We'll double the rooks, and I think that should be good enough. Queen c7, what I was thinking about trying to stop. Yeah, rook e7. Rook to d8. Um, um, there's just too many pieces here for them really to create too much trouble. Oh, I guess they weren't expecting that one. They just dropped the queen. yippee ki -yay. Yeah, the time, the time was a, a little scary for me just because I'm a little low on it. But, uh, yeah, they just made that blunder. And let's see. Man, people do not like making blunders in this game, huh? <laughs> Dear Lord. See, uh, We'll see if we have to wait uh, long in this one here, too. Come on, come on. I'm going to play against my, uh, well, I'm going to try to win the tournament. Why not? But yeah, when, when you're playing against this this opening line, the, the Russian defense, it's it's amazing how solid it, it is. Uh, because literally you're just mirroring your opponent for quite a while. And then to create that imbalance can definitely make a good position as far as, you know, winning chances, but it can also make some weaknesses in there too. And that's why this opening just has so many proponents of it, right? Why take risk if you don't need to? And if you do, then your your opponent's the one who's going to have to push a little bit too hard. So you got plenty of chances, even if you just play nice and uh, even. Oh my gosh. I think, they're, I think they are going to wait me out. Dear Lord. Oh, anybody know any good jokes? Good joke would be good right now. What do we call these people that just wait until the end because they're sad that they lost? I don't think I played any cheap shots over here. I thought I played some good chess. 
Mm-hmm. 21 minutes left. Well, only a minute left, I guess, on the clock. Minute and 30. <laughs> Let's see here. Borfid. Let's see. Um, yeah, this is our first game that we've ever played. 2,000 in bullets, so not a bad player. I'm surprised about the... Oh, I guess not. It's only like a few points off. Rapid. Over 148 games played, but only 2,100 with a question mark. That must mean that they're playing the games without uh, doing it rated. Yeah. I know I get a little bit <laughs> concerned when my rating starts going down a little bit. So that might be why they're doing it. Oh, what country is forfeit from? Ah, unknown, unknown. Let's see. All right. We're getting underneath the 30-second 30, 30 mark. <laughs> Dear Lord. Some people choose violence when they wake up, you know? Okay. 17. 16. Probably the best part of my day. Right Just waiting for the win. Okay, let's get ready. Hopefully, I get white next game. I think I've gotten a few blacks back to back, so. Alright, good game. And 26 is blowing me away over here. And. Oh, this is. Oh, so this is them. They did not uh, berserk this time. Oh, okay. Let's do 1800. Awesome, we got white this time. Oop, I need to see what black plays. But black's the one who gets to choose the first move. Yep, bad move again. F5. Remember, don't play F5 in these ones. The diagonal just becomes weak. Uh, knight C3, bishop D3. They'll probably take themselves here. Because they, yeah, they're going to take. And we're going to make this D5 square weak. The light squares get weak in general here. So, maybe they'll go C6, D5. Not too sure what they're doing. Okay, so it's castle. Why these light squares? That's that's the weaknesses. Rookie one will be played next. Where does this bishop go? Rookie one. D five I'd like to play, but I can't just play it yet. Rook B one. No pressure right there. Light squares are now weak on the king side. Hmm. How do we attack this position? Let's go queen a four. I'm hoping that he'll make the mistake. Nope, he did not make the mistake of going bishop b7. And the reason why bishop b7 is a little inaccurate is because the e6 square becomes weak. Okay. Let's go bishop a3. And then we'll play pawn c5 and try to bust this position open. I've got the bishop pair after all. Ooh, interesting. Okay. That is interesting move. Let's go rook e2, double up the rooks. d5 I could play right away, but again, having the bishop pair, I want to try to keep his position open. Doubling up, up on the e5 only makes sense to me. The as, Although there's some weaknesses here, I don't know how to attack just yet. Rook over to e1. And it uh, looks like they're going to be making the craziness in this position themselves, which is always nice. G4, interesting move. Knight to D2, and they can't take on D4 just yet, because if they do, um, E7 will fall. Knight F1, G3, the knight can reroute. Let's go Knight F1. I think they're planning on going F4. Bishop C1's definitely an idea I like. The bishop check doesn't really do anything right now. Hmm. Knight f4 is the new idea. Knight h4 is an idea. Should we just go g3 here? Let's go g3. We're very close to playing d5 now. Knight e3 is one of my ideas. Awesome. Put pressure on f5. Ooh, and look how beautiful the knight will look on d5. Definitely the best piece on the board right now. If they trade off, then this this will make this will be happiness. F5 is also weak here. I feel like they have the trade here, yeah. Do we play pawn takes here? Rook takes is also very good here too, though. 
ah, let's play Pawn Takes. This F5 Pawn looks really weak, and taking this way is only going to make it weaker. So we should just win this Pawn now. Rook over to F1. Bishop C1 is important because now we don't have to worry about this guy. Pawn Takes. Oof, now we got an open H file too here. Dear Lord. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. E4 can get played. Winning at least a pawn here, I think, right? Because we have the nice discovery here. Dear Lord, they almost lost their queen. Ooh, E5 here. Is this working? Pawn takes. Rook over. Oh my gosh, what do you play here? This has to be wrong, but how do we punish it? E5? The idea is pawn takes, pawn takes. Rook takes here. An easy calculation, right? <laughs> Dear Lord, what is happening here? Okay, Bishop takes g6. They just dropped a piece. Let's see if they drop the queen next. Because f3 is just one of those moves that comes very like... It's like, okay. Because typically when you make a mistake, you end up making another one. So Bishop takes. I'm more than happy to trade down to endgame here. Okay. So I go Bishop... Let's go Bishop takes here. I can take on d6 next. Okay, rook takes. Double up the rooks. Okay, so check. And should I just push the pass pawn? Pass pawns must be pushed here, right? No good checks in this position. Yeah, all right, good game. Oof. That one came pretty fast. Oh, look, we are now catching up. Dear Lord. Okay, we got 14 minutes left on the clock. Um, it's 24 to 26, but Hugo is still playing. Ah, so I was the featured game here. Dang it, I want to see. Is, is uh, we might, are we going to be playing? Nah, he's still playing a game. Oh, look, it looks like we played before, and he has got the best of me. Yeah, and his rating has gone up quite a bit. Was it this high before? All right, Berserk, let's do it. I don't typically feel good about Berserking in positions I don't know very well, but I'm co uh, too competitive sometimes, and so I just want to try and win this. Castles. C4 is what they typically play, so C6. Uh, knight takes. Bishop G4. I like this pin. I like this pin here. Bishop H5. They typically take now if they if they do take. Mm-hmm. Um, I did this last time, which... Yeah, we'll do this again. If bishop takes check, king over... And queen h4. Bishop g4. Bishop f5. g6. And then f5. So I at least win the h3 pawn back. And I have some winning chances here too. It's funny. Uh, somebody else fell for this earlier. These humans all play the same. Okay, so g6. F5. This G6 move is actually very helpful for me for two reasons. First off, it's going to, you know, have this F5 idea to trap the bishop. The other good reason is now I have king to G7 in here. And that was one of the problems is they could play F4 here and sacrifice the pawn, but I can't checkmate because I didn't have that second piece. But now I have king G7, rook H8, and I'll be able to mate. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So f5 here just looks good, right? Why sh why wouldn't I play f5 here? And then if they sacrifice, I play pawn takes here, and then I have rook g8 again. Dear lord. When it rains, it pours sometimes, huh? So pawn takes is just winning now. If they sacrifice, perfect. Pawn takes and rook over. They can't even play the king h2 right away because the bishop's tanking. So yeah, this looks really good. I might be jumping in the first place. It depends on um, how this last person played. If they were able to uh, able to um, win their last game, I think it was, uh, Hugo was his name, right? The Russian defense. I'm defending my way to first place. Okay, so pawn takes, and hmm. So what's the new threat now? Bishop takes is the new threat. I have pawn takes here too. Pawn takes here. Unfortunately, I don't see the checkmate that way though. 
Mm -hmm. Queen f6, I, I can play. Just go for a good endgame. Eesh. Pawn takes, queen takes. Because queen h6 check in a lot of these variations. Yeah. Um. Mm. Knight to d7, knight to a6. Pawn takes. Pawn takes. Yeah, I don't, I don't see this one. Rook takes on f3. Uh, all right, here we go. Queen f6. I'm more afraid about getting flagged than anything else here. Queen h5 check. King g8. Pawn takes. The queen on h5. I can't take on f3 so easily. Knight to a6. Mm-hmm. So king over. If queen takes on g4 check, I have queen g7. I can force off the queens, which is beneficial to me. And maybe I blundered by taking so fast here, huh? The uh, the piece. Definitely blundering was taking too fast there, huh? I, I should have uh, analyzed a little bit deep. Yeah. Mistakes happen, especially in these kind of games. Let's see. What's he thinking about? Bishop h6 is a move. Queen f5 if he does do that. Okay, so queen g7. Now I get to force off the queens. Uh, bishop h6 is an idea that he could play. I feel more comfortable just because he's taking a lot of time here. And the closer the time gets, the more I have uh, access of flagging him. So I have a different out here. Obviously, position's okay. Although, when I take here on g4, it's going to be three pass pawns. Uh, ugh, three connected pass pawns. Definitely worth more. Okay. Queen takes, rook takes. Yep, we have to take right away just because of the uh, rook to g6 threat. Mm-hmm. Rook g6. Bishop f4 I like here. Let's do that, I think. Rook g6 check, then we'll just play king over. I just gotta get my pieces into the game. Once my pieces get into the game, I'll feel a lot more comfortable in this position. Because dear lord knows I'm not very happy right now. Maybe rook check here, knight e6, pawn takes, rook over behind it. Mm. Well, time's getting closer for me. Rook check, rook back. Rook e7 he could play. Mm-hmm. I'll, if he does play rook e7, I'll play rook f7 real quick. Okay, cool. He pit it like this. So knight a6. Knight d7. Knight a6. Rook takes. Rook b8. He's going to go rook e7 here. Hmm. This pawn will fall. So takes. Oh, interesting. Let's go king f8. Rook h7 is pretty decent move. Ugh, that's a good move, too. Ah, okay. Time is, is slow. But even worse is the position. All right, rook here. Rook takes f4 is the idea. Rook f7 is the idea. Even in these end games, the knight is not the best against pawns. So rook takes f4. This is good. Knight back to b8. Then rook to f8. Ugh. This knight is terrible. Did I get a worse knight in this position? Dear Lord. This is not a knight. This is a... What is it? What are those things? This is a donkey. Give me a donkey. Okay. Again, I don't want to... I don't really want to trade off just right yet. Ugh, I think I have to now, though. Dear Lord, I think I have to. Knight d7. King takes. If he plays rook a7, then I should win. Okay, cool. A6. Rook over. King here. Rook takes. So I should be able to flag at least. Ugh. Annoying good play here. Pawn c6 is being threatened. Knight f6. Knight e4. King over. Okay. Yeah, there's just too many pawns here, but unfortunately, he has to be a little bit faster than that. Uh, oh, hey, and I was able to jump into first place with that win. So did he lose? Oh, so he did lose the game. So he lost the game. And 
then he just won a game here. So it's tied up. Six minutes left to go. If I berserk, five plus three is eight. So it really doesn't even matter. Berserking here would not really matter unless my opponent berserk. Then uh, six minutes. And yet that. No, no, 250, two, uh, 230 each, right? So it'd be five minutes. So my opponent would have to berserk and I had to berserk. And then we'd have five minutes at least for one of us to try and get first place. Depending on who I play, though. Uh, maybe, I, I don't know. Let's see. Is he playing a game already? Yeah, he's playing a game already. So if, if he wins or draws this, he should at least tie for first place. So I, I really don't have any good chances on winning this. No! Alright, well, I guess I'm okay with second place. Um, there's no need for me to berserk. Because... No need for me to berserk. So D5. Oh, and then he berserks. Okay. Well, if I had known... Well, this is great. This is great for me. I actually have really good chances now. I have really good chances on, on, on trying to win this. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got lucky. My opponent berserked me. So I have more time. Better position. What else could I want here? Bishop G4. This is literally what I've won three games in a row with. And they've all played Queen to C2 here. They hate that pin that much. Okay, bishop c7, knight d7. Okay. Knight f6, ideas here too. Okay, this is just losing a piece here. Bishop takes here, and then queen takes on g5. Okay. Oh, you know what? This is actually equality. Typically, this bishop's not here. If they played takes back, then it would have been just easy winning. Ugh. Good, good, good. Okay, I assume they're gonna play rook e7 here. Bishop e6 will close him in. Nope. Okay, let's go rook c8, and then rook e8. Why do I feel like I'm in a defensive position now? Why do I feel so defensive? Okay, this is good moves for my opponent, man. They're playing really well. Um, let's just play b6, dear lord. Pawn takes, pawn takes. I feel like this is forced. Mm-hmm. Good move. Good move here. Ooh. Is that winning the exchange? It is not winning the exchange. Rook takes. Oh my gosh, is this winning the exchange? Rook to d8. This is winning the exchange. No! How did this happen? Oh my gosh. Okay, I can't even play pawn takes right away. What do I play? Oh my gosh, no! My hopes and dreams are crushed. Well, funny enough, as far as the tournament goes, if I want to keep my winning chances, I just stall because it's three minutes to the to the other one. Ugh. Is that sportsmanship? Is that good to do? Oh, you know what? Rook d8, bishop c7, rook f8 here, right? Um, oh, and he didn't take. Pawn takes on a5, pawn takes on c5. Let's do... Pawn takes on c5. Knight f6, knight e4. Knight f6, knight e4. Bishop e6, knight e4. Mm -hmm. Looks like he heard me. Let's go h5. Bishop d7, just try and trade down some pieces. And now I don't have to worry about the back ring checkmates. Rook here. Oof, bishop b7. Rook to back to d8. Very bad move on my half. Knight e8. Oof. Okay. F6. Okay. Knight takes. King over. Rook d7, rook c7 plan. Play on the dark squares here because they have the light square bishop. So rook d7. Oof. That rook is uh, not in the, the right square, is it? We go d4 here. Okay, so d4, rook takes. c6, we have to defend on c7. This is the last square. Oh, no! Okay. Pawn takes, pawn d3. Nope, rook to, to d5. Rook to d6, only move I can see. c7. And then they're queening. Rook f8, check. No good way to defend. They missed it. Rook takes. Now I can play rook here. 
knight to d5, knight e8 will be the idea. So, rook c4. King up. I gotta get out of the checking ideas. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. 52 seconds left. Either way, this is not gonna end well for me. Um, h4, and then rook c2 checking ideas. Rook check. I don't know. King e1 looks like a good try. King f5. There is a checkmating idea here. Rook check, king over, h4. And then knight f4 is mate. Oh, it doesn't work because the checkmate square is covered. And where's the check right here? So check. And this does not work. No. Is there anything else, else I can do? Knight f4 check doesn't do anything. Ah, kudos to my opponent that they uh, they did this. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what place I got in the tournament now. But I'm going to lose this game now. What's going on? Knight e3, g2 doesn't do anything. Um, mm, that king is just too safe. The flagging chances on this are remote to none. 22 seconds left. Still plenty of time. Pawn takes. Queen check. King here. Ooh, king f4. Queen check there would have been... Ugh, and I lose the rook either way. Queen e4 check. Ugh, all right. Well, good game. Let's see what place I, I, I got in this tournament. Oh, yeah, there we go. I, a little bit of happiness there. I lost the last game, but I was able to take first place here. Uh, all because I stalled. So, yes, it's something definitely to remember. All right, guys, I well, hope you enjoyed this. Um, this was playing the Russian defense game. I uh, hope you learned some of the lines here. This, I like to try and do these ones as much as possible the thematic chess tournaments. So please check out some more in the future. And, uh, yeah, see you guys later. <laughs>